Hey guys, so first video of this um, Arch Nemesis uh, League and um, I think I started with the wrong build. Uh, I'm having kind of issues with this build. I wouldn't say damage wise, it's just the practicality. Maybe this build is not very suited for this current league. Uh, I'm, so I started with Rage Vortex because I checked PUB, it has big numbers with like almost no budget. With just Terminus S, can reach like over 4 million DPS. If you can get to maximum rage. And uh, once I started actually playing the build, I discovered this issue and then that issue and then uh, figured out that, oh, against these enemies is just completely terrible. And then for mapping, it's also kind of sometimes bad if you don't have max rage. And also, um, now we're going to say, just get um, Red Blade Banner. Well, Red Blade Banner, the cheapest is like two exalts for non-corrupted one. So it's not really an option since I don't have enough currency. I I tried a couple other things and uh, it's just not working out. I tried actually, I made a big mistake buying this Chains of uh, uh, Municipation Belt, whatever it's called. I kind of, my brain glitched out for a moment and I didn't realize that it's not going to work the way I imagined. I bought it, I tested and immediately uh, regretted. Another thing is uh, use Chain Breaker. Uh, with chain breaker you can you can passively generate uh, rage but you need timeless jewel and the timeless jewel you need um, sometimes it pops up for like 100 years but yeah like 120 c uh, you need that for chain breaker but then you you would also have to get increased mana regeneration uh, on the passive skill tree or on items so instead of like taking other like damage nodes or, or life you would be taking something for your mana regeneration by the way if you ever played i i never played with the rage vortex and maybe i'm missing something other than red blade banner and chain breaker but let me know if you have how do you play with rage vortex with the chain breaker like what exactly do you get i know that you just need mana increased mana regeneration but you don't get increased mana regeneration on the bottom side of the passive skill tree so i am by, by the way berserker and i'm taking the grave to slaughter getting the minimum um, Warcry power. Also I had, initially did not plan on taking this because exert, uh, Warcry cannot exert travel skill is like a must because if you want to leap slam and you don't want to lose exerted attacks which you can only have up to three with the mastery, you kind of uh, have to get the mastery for the Warcry. Uh, to not exert traveling skills. Previously it was like a, just a single point, but now it's a mastery, but just for that I have to waste five points, basically. The main issue is I am not able to reach maximum rage, and if you don't reach maximum rage, then you don't consume enough rage to empower the rage vortex, because it uh, consumes 20% of your current rage uh, and gets more AoE and damage. And basically I don't get much damage from it right now. Unless I get to maximum rage. There's also a Wallace Mark, which you can link with the new uh, Mark on hit. I'm currently using Assassin's Mark. I tried it. I wasn't really studying enemies. Basically, I was not doing enough damage, especially against tougher enemies. Like, what, what do you do when you get a really tough, like, gargantuan uh, new arch nemesis enemy? You're not going to be studying with this build, unless you already have big damage, which in that case, you don't really need to worry about what I'm saying here, I guess. I tied that and uh, Wallace Mark generates, what, I believe 20 rage over 1 second when you stun an enemy that is cursed with Wallace Mark, so first you need to hit the enemy, which then curses with Wallace Mark, and that's only against rare and uniques, so it's not even against normal enemies. And then you hit again to stun, which is fine for rage vortex since it does hit very frequently. But again, the issue is, well, Wallace Mark doesn't give damage, and I don't have much damage, uh, there are so many issues. Then again, I really don't like using Intimidating Crime. I mean, I don't like using this node because if I go above 25 rage and I need to use Intimidating Crime every three attacks essentially, then I lose rage. And then I also lose rage when I use Rage Vortex. I do gain um, rage on hit. As a Berserker, I get three rage per second on hit. And then additional almost like two and a half rage per second from this rage support and it's not quite enough uh, if you go access you can get axe mastery but i don't want to go access but this one only gives one additional rage per second that's not that's basically nothing there's also cluster jewel 
there's also new implicit um but i i haven't tried that actually maybe i could go check it out now gain rage on hit with attacks no more than um it has many tiers so that should go on gloves which is currently hmm. uh, so essentially you can also get the new implicit on wait is it implicit is this implicit new implicit on gloves for rage generation and it has so many tiers and even goes up to one rage every 0 0.3 seconds which is basically berserker's node let's see if it uh, now the the best one is one rage per one second it does require a celestial enemy presence on item i don't know what that means i haven't figured that out but um but yeah if you know how to fix this build let me know because i know that this build can be really strong i just don't have a big budget and um I still need to replace a lot of items, but I just don't know if I want to currently invest into this build anymore. Maybe I should just play Dancing Dervish. I found a perfect Dancing Dervish, um, like perfectly roll Dancing Dervish. And I tried the new Cyclone. It looks really cool. The new, because the Dancing Dervish, if you don't know, Dancing Duo got removed. Dancing Dervish got updated um, and it's easier to proc it. To maintain it, you're still gonna need the warm players. I don't want to go too too deep into dancing dervish. It's not not the video about dancing dervish. So um, I may just start the dancing dervish and then get more currency and then return to this build. I don't know what to do. I really want to do more maps right now, but I just not enjoying this build all that much. And I keep thinking about dancing dervish. It's it's essentially would be like it would be essentially like rage vortex, but two of them, and I wouldn't need rage. I was even thinking of reworking this build in Dancing Dervish, but it doesn't really have much synergy unless you go hybrid, like uh, you do damage with attacks and then minions do damage, which I'm pretty sure wouldn't really work so well. So yeah, uh, as for the new Atlas passives, essentially get what you like, but I really like the idea of getting at least one essence per map, uh, because I like spamming essences sometimes, and then you just rush Kirak if you want to. Uh, get more Atlas, well, Kirak missions, which essentially uh, Kirak gives you extra missions, um, like Xana before. So you rush for that if you want, or you rush for what you like. Personally, I like the uh, join missions, uh, well, Syndicate. Syndicate is always very profitable, not profitable, but guaranteed profit both uh, in terms of experience, uh, items, and just, yeah, currency. And then I also want breaches, and then going towards uh, more what am I going for? Uh, syndicate, basically. Uh, focusing on Syndicate. So yeah, that, that's all I can tell you about the Atlas. Just pick what you like. And you, I think you cannot even go wrong if you just avoid everything and just go all the small nodes. Uh, you would just get a bunch of, what does it say? A bunch of small things like a 2% two, um, two chance for an additional ch connected map to drop from a unique map boss. It says unique map boss. It's um, if it says unique map boss, it's only from the map boss, not any uniques from the map. So you can stack these, which also later have like um, a duplicate, like 0.5 percent chance for a map to drop to be duplicated. You you cannot go wrong with this. You cannot go wrong, even if you avoid all the bigger nodes and just go for the smaller ones. You still gonna you still gonna end up fine. So you cannot go wrong, just pick what you like, I think. Um, yeah, the new Atlas looks good. I like the layout and, and small changes. And um, if you ha actually haven't noticed most enemies that previously, like if you go into, what is it called? Not, not this, the Act 5 Ruin Square, um, you know those civilians, uh, everyone shouting, like uh, screaming, no, I don't want to die and stuff like that. And all the enemies like previously, you couldn't really hear them shouting when we die, uh, I guess. It's just a small thing, small change that uh, makes the game a bit more fresh, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, I guess. I will include path of building in board code. I actually did not show my path of building plan because I don't really know what how I want to change this. But essentially, you can get a lot of damage. I'm just limited to 60 rage right now. Uh, add 7 then, then you add more consumed rage. You can get a lot of damage very quickly if you can figure out how you can get enough rage generation. And by the way, I'm using 
work like calculation max it which means it's only gonna calculate the damage when my work rights are active which basically doubles my damage because of intimidating cry and uh, this plan is with like very very simple items terminus s uh, bell of the beast don't even have that sarconja currently don't have that um and then just life and this thing the cluster jewel the small cluster jewel is very nice for getting leech and getting life on a hit since i'm hitting like 10 times per second well not right now but um with a lot of hits per second it does feel like it's doing something so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i don't know if next video is gonna be about something else just know that i gave up on on rage vortex and decided to play something else so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one and um, by the way maybe i should have mentioned about um, recipes no, go figure. There are, there are websites uh, that show the recipes. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.